Day 17 of the Advent by a storybook, 25 Bible stories showing why Jesus came. Okay, here we are, day 17. Shepherd and King. Oh, look at that picture. <gasps> There's a young fella, and look at that. Who's what's he doing? He's protecting his sheep against what? A fierce bear. Oh, let's see if we can find out more about that. Here we go. Shepherd and King, day 17. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 23, verse 1. David was the great-grandson of Ruth and Boaz. David took care of sheep. He provided food and water for them, kept them safe from other animals, found them if they got lost, and brought them back home. One day, an important man of God named Samuel visited David's family to choose the next king of Israel. God chose David the youngest son, to be the next king. Hmm. The Bible says, And the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David from that day forward. 1 Samuel 16, verse 13. God was with David, protecting him and giving him what he needed, just like a shepherd. Later, the Israelites were fighting against people called the Philistines. One Philistine was a giant named Goliath. He kept saying that he was stronger than God's people and he wanted to fight. And all the Israelites were afraid. Oh! But not David. He knew that God was his shepherd. He knew God would help him win so that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. When Goliath saw David, he laughed. Can you laugh like a giant? Oh, 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 oh. David was so young and little, but David said, you come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. David knew it didn't matter how strong he was because God would help and protect him. And God did. Goliath was defeated. David became king of Israel. He tried to love God and help his people do the same, but he made many mistakes just like everyone else. But God made a promise to David. He promised, your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 16. One day, another shepherd and king would come from David's family. This king would rule forever and this shepherd would protect us forever. Who protects you and gives you what you need? Good question. Well, there we go. I see what's going on. David protected his sheep against fierce bears and lions and things like that. And he remembered that the Lord was his shepherd. Very cool. All right. We'll be back tomorrow for more. Bye.